Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KidBadger.com, out here today to introduce you to the newest member of my family. But the story actually starts a while ago. Honestly, it's kind of sad. Big picture, been really wanting a dog, both me and my boys, like for years. And part of it is just timing-wise, hasn't really been right because of travel, all these other things. Don't need my microphone. And just trying to figure it out. And so fast forward, finally it's like, okay, everything seems to kind of line up. What do I mean? Well, a good friend, Andy, amazing, talented guy, number of different businesses, all basically dovetailing with dogs, a hunting guide, like bird hunting, fishing guide, also has a kennel and trains dogs, like some of the hardest training. He actually trains bird dogs. So think about having a dog run off, not run away, and look back at you for like hand and arm signals and then point, right? Super difficult. So ended up talking with him and while he's not a breeder, his like rock star, amazing dog, able, like super athletic, super talented, super driven, big, super muscular for the breed and everything. Uh, German wire hair. And so, as it turns out, Abel ended up breeding with his other really awesome female dog, Seta. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So, this happened kind of around like Christmas time 2020. So, I was like, all right, cool. That's awesome because, well, he's not a breather. He didn't necessarily want to sell them, but he wanted to give them away to good friends. He's like, these are going to have an amazing like gene line. We'd love to give you one because I know you've been talking about dogs for a while. I'm like, this is so cool. So what ends up happening is I end up going out there shortly after this and get some really cool footage of both of the parents out there at Andy's place. Really cool dogs cruising around in the snow over there in Montana. And my intent was to go back right after they were born, get some more footage, and then go back when I actually got to go pick up my puppy. So fast forward about two months into 2021 gestation period, and it's like, hey, have they been born yet? It's like, no, not yet. I'm like, okay. Have they been born yet? I'm like, no, not yet. And so finally I'm like, hey, has the litter been born yet? He's like, no, but... Her water broke and she just hasn't gone into labor yet. So a few days later, again, I continued to bug him. And he was in communication with a vet and it's like, yeah, like just let her do her thing. Like let nature do its course. And so finally though, it got to the point where the vet's like, all right, if she hasn't gone into labor, you need to bring her in. He brought her in and they ended up doing a C-section. The whole litter was dead. All the puppies. Needless to say, like everyone was pretty crestfallen. Obviously Andy, the mother, Seta, she was all right. But yeah, Andy was bombed. I'm bombed. My boys are bombed. They thought they were getting a puppy. And it was like, wasn't meant to be, but huge bummer. Fast forward a couple months, it, again, it was just a bummer. It, uh, I was super excited and it just didn't work out. Kind of backburnered the thing and this one weekend I ended up going and picking up a little nickels worth paper and just kind of looked through there and there's all these dogs like, hey, registered this and that and it's like oh cool like super inbred probably have hip dysplasia or whatever poodle mix which if that's your thing that's cool not really my thing and so i did see this one ad and i'm like huh sounds like an interesting mix don't eat my microphone and i was like nah whatever and i ended up throwing the thing in the trash so next morning i got up and I was like, I'm kind of curious. So I ended up looking at both the breeds. I'm like, huh, it's, both of those seem like honestly pretty cool breeds, especially for something that would end up being like a backcountry companion. 
and around kids, not a liability. So I ended up calling, calling the number. I was like, hey, do you have any of these puppies? And they said, we have one left. And I was like, all right, are you around this afternoon? Could I come take a look at them? And they're like, yeah, that's fine. And so set up a time and because of earlier arrangements, time constraints, I went, picked my boys up from school, got them out early. And they're like, dad, where are we going? I'm like, we're gonna go look at a puppy. And they're like, what, no way. And I'm like, yes. So we ended up going, driving over to Washington and went, checked out the puppy. And as soon as we walked in the backyard, unbeknownst to the owner, both the parents were out, both of them came up. They were super chill. I was like, oh, I'm liking this temperament. And we're gonna come like murder my boys and I in their backyard. So we ended up seeing the puppy and of course my boys are just like, dad, we need to get this puppy. And I'm like, oh, I want to, but boys, I'm about to go out of town for like five days. I'm gonna go do some filming in like Oklahoma with Bill Rapier. And so I talked to the guy and I'm like, hey, is it possible to come back and pick up this puppy when I fly back in on Monday? And he's like, yeah, I don't see why not. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we ended up going home and on the way home, of course, actually on the way there, we were going through like, what should we name this dog? And so everyone basically threw their hat in the ring because I didn't want to be the deciding vote. So we all threw a name out there. My suggestion was Angus, as in Angus Young from ACDC. And my youngest, he was like, I like peanut, in part because of the irony in that Stug's gonna be giant. And then Jada was like McLean from John McLean, as in Die Hard. And so those were our three options. And since I don't wanna be the deciding vote, even though I like both of those names, we ended up putting it to a poll over on Patreon. So I basically let someone else start, or everyone else cast their votes to figure out what his name must be. And as a quick aside, since I didn't mention it before, the mother is Swiss Mountain Dog and the father is French Mastiff. Known for, among other things, having like the most giant head, I think, of like any dog breed. But we needed to figure out what this little guy's name was. As it turns out, this guy's name is Peanut. I will say really like McLean that ended up coming in second in the poll. So we'll make sure on his birth certificate it says John Peanut McLean. He'll go by his middle name. Big picture, my boys and I are super excited. As a quick aside, I will say it's really awesome to be able to rescue dogs, especially from like shelters, things along those lines. In the same breath, there is a ton of value don't need my microphone. With respect to getting a puppy and raising a puppy, especially for like my boys, tons of valuable lessons there. And I'm really excited for them to take part in this whole thing as well. And this guy is just amazing. Temperament is really cool. He will end up being huge, probably 100, 120 pounds, which will of course be ironic considering Ira chose the name Peanut. But I'm really, really excited about taking him out on adventures. As he gets bigger, like one, just sharing the adventure of this guy growing up and getting bigger and being able to ultimately take him out on all kinds of adventures. Eventually, to when I can go ahead and put saddlebags on him, he can carry all his food, maybe some of my stuff too, because he's going to be incredibly strong, and be able to have him out there in the backcountry and yeah, just go everywhere, all kinds of adventures, and have my boys be able to, like I said, have a part in raising him. Really, really excited about it. Really excited to have this guy in my and my boys' lives. Dogs are incredible. There's a reason they're referred to as man's best friend and gonna bring you more and more content with him as he grows up and gets bigger. And even if he's not in the video, he'll probably be right there just off camera as he's gonna pretty much be a constant companion. Out there, hiking around, on the range, all of it. 
but yeah it's gonna be huge probably won't be able to hold you much longer as again swiss mountain dog and french mastiff both pretty big dogs really cool temperament too and bred for like pulling carts and stuff like that so looking forward to him getting bigger being able to pull his own weight and eventually grow into these massive paws but as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.